Hi everyone, today I'll be making Bombay's favorite street food, potato vada pav, which is also famous as Indian burger. I'm not a professional cook, but I'm just trying to kill my time during this lockdown. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and comment. Okay, so for potato vada pav, we will need potato as a main ingredient, about three to four mashed potatoes, green chili, curry leaves, garlic paste, asofatida in English, asofatida in Hindi, hing, very important, easily available in all big supermarkets. This is a lentil called urad dal, urad dal. If you, if you can't get this, that's fine, you can skip this ingredient. Mustard seeds, mustard seeds, turmeric powder, and uh, coriander. Also, you will need some salt as per taste. Gram flour, which is in Hindi, besan, B-E-S-A-N, besan flour. And also, these are ingredients to make garlic chutney, which is very important for any vada pav. I have roasted and with some spices, uh, this peanuts, garlic, coconut powder, and sesame seeds, till. Okay, so for, I have already heated the pan with two tablespoons of oil. I'm putting mustard seeds, dry, and I'll put the low flame, dry, and then urad dal, curry leaves, hing, and other ingredients. garlic paste coriander turmeric and salt And now I'll stir it. Now time to add potatoes in it. After mixing it well with all the ingredients, this is how it will look. What I have done is I have also added this coarse sea salt, which is rock salt, which adds more taste. And now I will keep this aside to cool down. Now we have to make a batter. For that I have taken basin, which is gram flour. Add little bit of water. And a bit of salt. Now time to mix it. After mixing well with the water, it, it should become like this. The batter should be this way, it's thin. Now it's time to make a garlic chutney, dry garlic chutney. I have heated a pan again with uh, one teaspoon of uh, oil. Now goes sesame seeds. garlic two or three or four garlic um, coconut powder and also peanuts you can also use plain peanuts I had this from yesterday's recipe so I'm using the same peanuts again today and a bit of salt coriander powder and red chili powder. And now let's get this roasted for about two to three minutes. And after that we will grind so everything will blend well. 
Okay guys, I have taken everything in a blender to grind it. So Make sure you let it cool it down and then grind it. So, after grinding, this is how it will become which is uh, main ingredient, main recipe for vada pav. Without this vada pav is incomplete. Okay, at one side I have put the oil to on a full flame to get it hot. And now I'm making potato balls like this. I'll prepare 2-3 to show you guys. like this roll it and you, if you want you can make it slightly flat and now I will dip it in this batter batter of gram flour let it drip and it goes in the hot oil another one Let it drip and again it goes in the hot oil. Now I will I'm gonna turn it around and wait until it becomes golden brown. Once it is turned golden brown, our potato vada pav is ready. Now potato vadas have turned golden brown like this and it's all done put on a kitchen roll so it will soak all excess oil and it's ready now since potato vada are ready I'll take a burger bread some butter our garlic dry garlic chutney vada goes in and put some on top as well and that's it all done same with the other one I'll put more butter on the top as well all done ready to serve hope you like this video Tell me. Thank you.